Hey guys, Casey Eberhardt here coming to you from Los Angeles, California. I am super, super appreciative of you jumping on and just taking a couple of quick minutes uh, to learn about a fun, easy, no lifting your finger way to generate leads for your business. And this will work for every single business uh, pretty much out there. So, hey, if you and I do not know each other, let me just take a quick second to introduce myself. My name is Casey Eberhardt. I am a business coach and strategist as well as a consultant. I am the founder of a high results producing mastermind training accountability coaching program called the Platinum Inner Circle. That is for entrepreneurs that are committed to producing extraordinary results. If that's you, um, you and I can have a chat uh, if that's of interest to you. Not the point of today's video. So before we get started, let me just indicate I put up here cash flow with Casey. If you suck at follow up, as many, many businesses do, or you at least believe there is room to improve your follow up, head over to cash flow with Casey and, and just tell me where to send my free. 20 ways to improve your follow-up guide and checklist. People are getting great results with it. It's super easy to follow. Uh, I try to make things super easy uh, and bite-sized so that it's easy to understand. So head over to connect with or cashflowwithkc.com. Just tell me where to send it. So apologize for a little bit of squirrel moment, but I've got a family of squirrels right outside my office window here that are jumping all around. And uh, so I, I might keep looking over because I, uh, I'm an animal guy and I like, I like squirrels. So... The lifeblood of any business really comes down to lead generation. So often people will say, um, I'm, my sales are down, I don't have people to talk to, our company is falling on the marketing side. And when we go in and really start to dissect it, what we find most often is that the problem really stems from lead generation. That's why social media has done an amazing job for, for a lot of business owners and network marketers. It is why um, lots of big companies are focused heavily on lead generation. So there are other things like referral generation and, and all of that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, we have to have some active and some passive ways for you to generate leads in your business. Now, I um, had the opportunity of a lifetime to travel the world and teach and train many, many different lead generation techniques. So much so, in fact, that my original uh, program that I sold from stage was literally called 147 Creative Ways to Generate Leads for Your Business, dot, 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 how to have more leads than time. So I thought what I would do is I would pull out a few of those that were fun, kind of easy to do, uh, no cost, and things that you could do today uh, given the nutty times that we are in, okay? So today's lead generation technique, it is super easy to do. Um, and the benefit of this is that it has the opportunity or the potential to generate leads for you forever. So once this is done, it will generate, it has the potential of generating you leads literally forever. Okay. So I'm going to say that a lot of times somebody comes to me and says, Hey, I'm new at this game. I don't really know how to market. I don't really know where to spend my money. So here's the today's, uh, today's, uh, lead generation technique is going to run you either get ready for this leads for life here leads for life it's either going to run you five dollars or ten dollars okay and the reason i say it's five dollars or ten dollars is this if you like writing and you're really good about writing articles um, about your topic or the problem that your product good or service solves then we're gonna. Then this idea is gonna cost you five bucks. If you're like me and you're not that creative and you don't really like writing and you are not gonna sit down and write articles about the problems that you solve with your product, good, or service, then it's gonna run you ten bucks. Okay. So for me, I'm gonna focus on this ten dollar one. Um, quite frankly, because it's the the cost of a nice venti soy latte at Starbucks, and since I'm not going out to Starbucks now. You're going to run roughly around 10 bucks. I live in Los Angeles, so add a pastry in there. Okay, so here's the deal. There is a topic. Um, well, so here's the deal. Let's just, I'll, I'll, I'll make this really easy for you. So at the end of the day, you guys, the number one website in the world is a little site called Google. Okay, number one in the world. Okay, number two, by the way, in case you're curious, is YouTube. Okay, now here's the thing. 
number one owns number two. So YouTube is actually owned by Google. Okay. Now this is important because if you or I could get um, in Google um, for people searching for a term uh, and they are driven to or taken to an article that we wrote about the problem that we solve or about the solution that we provide and then give somebody the opportunity to raise their hand and say, hey, I'm a little bit more interested, um, that would be a value, especially given how big Google is worldwide. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to actually go out into the Google world and we are going to find blogs, okay? Remember that word blog from, it used to get, it used to be a huge, huge thing. Um, now most people have their own website, but you know, if you don't have a website, it's not going to matter. If you don't have an own blog, it doesn't matter. This is what's so brilliant about this uh, lead generation idea. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go find blogs that have the same reader that is our customer. So if, for example, you sell health and wellness or weight loss, you might go find a keto blog or, or a intermittent fasting blog. If you are in network marketing, maybe you go find opportunity seeker blogs. If you are in the roofing business, you're going to go find construction blogs. You guys get the, uh, you get the idea. Okay. Now, very simply, what we're going to do is we are then going to write or have written. So we're either going to write an article and only invest $5 in this, or we are going to um, not write an article and invest 10 bucks. So it's your choice. You're a writer, you'll have five bucks invested in this. If you are not a writer, you will have 10 bucks in this. Okay, pretty simple, pretty simple math here. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go find a blog that takes what are called guest posts. Now this is really important, so guest posts, okay? Now, the reason that this word is so important is because we want to find bloggers that say, hey, we will publish your content if you pay us a fee or if it's a really good article, okay? Now, you will be extremely surprised um, when you dig into this at just how many blogs allow guest posts, okay? So, we're simply going to get an article written for $5.00 or we're gonna write one ourselves to save us $5, okay? We're gonna then find a blog where there are guest posts and we are gonna add what's into that article. We are gonna add what's called a CTA or a call to action. Primarily, you're gonna give your website, okay? So here's how this looks. We're, we've gotta find, now you're like going, okay, Case, this all sounds great, but I don't know where to find blogs, I don't know where to find articles, all that just. I got you covered, okay? So, many of you have heard of this site. That's cool. If you never have, uh, I'm about to introduce you to a site that is going to blow your mind. It's called Fiverr.com. F-I-V-E-R-R.com, okay? So, head over to Fiverr. It's essentially a bazillion people that will do stuff for five bucks, okay? Now, here's what's really rad, you guys. Here it is. You're going to go to Fiverr and you're going to search um, uh, guest blog, okay? And when you do that, you are going to see tons and tons and tons of bloggers and people that have high traffic blogs that will say, hey, I'll, I'll post an article on my blog for five bucks, okay? Now, Here's my suggestion. My suggestion is that you want to look for something that has what's called a do follow link. Not important, but if you're a little bit advanced, find something that says do follow. Just means the blog's a little bit more seasoned, if you will. Okay? So we're going to go to Fiverr. We're going to search on guest blog. We're going to find a blog in our niche or in our area. So if you talk about dogs. Um, so for example, I uh, own a product line on Amazon where we sell pet products. So when we did that, when we launched that, we went out and found all the guest blogging opportunities in the pet space and essentially paid to have them post an article that we wrote. Okay? So you can just do that. So there's your five bucks. Now you go, but Case, I hate writing. Me included, right? So then I just type in article in Fiverr and you will have people that will write you an article for five bucks. 
for five bucks. I don't know how they do it. I don't know why they do it. I don't really care. Okay. By the way, I just want to give a quick shout out and say thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, and commenting on this video. I really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, okay, so we're going to go get an article written for $5 on Fiverr. It'll take about a day. You give them some keywords that you want them to add in there. They'll write a little article on you. Will it be the most genius, amazing article in your voice, blah, blah, blah? No. It's going to be a $5 article. Let's keep this in perspective, right? And then we're going to find blogs that allow us to post an article on them. And by the way, when I say it allows them to post, you literally just send them your article and the link you want, and they put it up on their blog, okay? So look, for 10 bucks, essentially, now you can have a guest blog post on somebody else's blog where let them deal with all the traffic ideas. Let them deal with it. But here's what's really valuable. What's really valuable is when you look at a blog um, in the eyes of Google, okay, here's an article, then here's an article, okay, then here's an article, okay. Now, here's what's happening. The Google gods or the Google spiders are bringing people into this article, into this article, into this article, this article, this article. Now, the blog is going to have advertisement all the way around it. That's okay. We don't really care. What we really want is to have them post an article here, let Google send it traffic that they've already spent the time, energy, and money putting together, and then in it, we're going to send them a link of where we want people to send them, and that will drive people back to our call to action. So, for example, right now, we're in the process of doing this with Cashflow with Casey. I'm going out to all the business bloggers, all the speaker, coacher, trainer bloggers, I'm going out to a lot of network marketing blogs, and I'm saying, hey, um, I help people with follow-up, right? We've got a free guide, a free checklist. Are you open to letting us create an article? Then I'm having articles written for five bucks a piece on Blogger, and you can probably find this cheaper if you look around, but, and then we're just matching those. So for $10, I get a blog post on somebody else's blog promoting cash flow with Casey, right? So that's kind of the concept. So. You invest $5 to go find a blog to be able to do that on Fiverr.com. You could probably find some free ones if you just went on Google, but uh, for 5 bucks, it's worth it for me um, to go here. Then I'm going to go have an article written by somebody on Fiverr for 5 bucks. I'm going to get that article back. I'm going to tweak it to make sure that it sounds like me a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to make sure that I have my call to action, which is referred to as a CTA, um, in that article as well along with some keywords, let them publish it, and now it lasts and sit on there forever. You guys, when we launched our pet products on Amazon, we did affiliate links driving everybody over to Amazon, and we still make sales every single day, track back to blogs that I posted articles on years ago, because in the world of Google, the post becomes more valuable over time. That's a topic for another, uh, another conversation, but Easy way to generate leads for you. Go to Fiverr, find an article writer. Go to Fiverr, find a blog that takes guest blogs. For a little extra credit, you're going to look for what's called a do follow. Okay? Now, these do follow blogs might cost you a couple of extra bucks to post on there. Um, that's okay. It's worth it, uh, in my opinion. But if you're just getting started, look, what would your business look like, by the way, if once a week or once every couple of weeks, you put 10 bucks into your business, you had an article written and had it posted on somebody else's blog that talks to the same customer that you talk to. So you guys, I would love your thoughts, your comments. If you like this idea, if you don't like this idea, if you think this is brilliant or you think it's the dumbest thing ever, don't hesitate to drop a comment in the below section. And again, don't forget to hit that smash, like, subscribe, comment button. I appreciate you so, so very much. If there's anything I can do to help you in your business, don't hesitate to reach out. You guys, until next time, have an amazing day. Now go give somebody else an absolutely awesome day. Ciao, guys.